All right, Mike Heck here from MMAfighting.com here with Chris Avila. He's getting ready to take on Anthony Taylor this Saturday in Tampa on the big Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley to vote in. How are you enjoying your time in Tampa thus far, Chris? It's good. I like the weather. Beats home. Yeah, it's good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. What did you think when this particular matchup was offered? Because obviously you and Anthony have fought before. It ended in a majority draw or a majority decision for him. A lot of people thought you won that fight. Was this something that you expected to happen? Did you expect at some point that you would run it back with Anthony? Uh, yeah, I expected to run it back with him at some point. Uh, it's pretty cool that we're getting to fight in a boxing, eight round boxing fight, which is uh, it's fine with me. Yeah. Because it's a different combat sport, do you consider this an actual rematch because it's not an MMA? Did, like, do you have that mentality behind it, or is this just a totally different fight altogether for you? It's a new fight for me, but um, it's it's a rematch still for me, yeah, because I, I still feel like I won that Bellator fight hands down, and it's just another opportunity for me to hit him in the face, so I'm, 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 I'm all for it. Is that one that kind of stewed with you for a while? Like, is, is that a fight that you often think about? Yeah. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I do. I think about it. Uh, well, I did, but it's all good. Yeah, he just runs his mouth. He's, he's ungr uh, you know, I put that guy on. Uh, I made him who he is today. So it's a little frustrating and irritating because um, I don't get, I don't get the attention sometimes. Like, like they're giving out to these guys who don't deserve it. So, I'm here to uh, take what's mine. Do you feel like he's getting some of that attention? No. Well, he's doing his thing. He's 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 doing what he's got to do. Uh, I'm just here to take back what I was giving out, which he shouldn't have had. So. Did you watch his fight with Tommy Fury? And if so, what did you think of it? <clears throat> yeah, I watched it. I didn't think they looked good at all. They're both uh, overrated. Well, Tommy Fury is. No one knows Anthony Taylor. Um, they only know him for that fight. But as far as um, the performance-wise, it was not good. Um, I know Tommy Fury is really over overrated. Um, he hasn't fought anybody. He's just a celebrity, really. So, and Anthony Taylor, who knows him, so he's not a real fighter in my book. And to any other real fighters, I know they don't even know him. So. Is the Tommy Fury fight something you might want to be a part of? Because he was obviously supposed to fight Jake on this card. He's not there. Woodley's in now, but now he's left without a dance partner. I feel like the boxing world will try to match those two back up, but maybe Jake will want him to take one more fight and get one more win, at least if he wants to earn that fight. Is that a fight, like, if you get through Anthony here and do what you believe you're going to do on Saturday, that's a fight you might want to pursue? Yeah, shit, why not? Um, if he's being scared and he wants to fight a real fighter, uh, I'd be glad to beat him up, but he's probably going to try in big league and try and, try and ignore it, but get you some so how do we get this done on saturday what's what, what's sort of the process that plays out in your mind how do you see this one going down i just gotta go out there and do what i do and put it on them and i'm pretty confident that i'll get the job done and yeah we'll we'll, we'll see what happens after that but yeah i'm gonna i'm gunning for uh something along the lines of something good a bigger fight yeah and last thing for me, I know you got a busy day, you got a busy week ahead of you, ahead of Saturday. Obviously, everyone saw Nate Diaz is here. You guys have been linked together for a while. Is that some, like, at some point, it seems like Jake Paul wants to fight Nate, and that would be a massive fight. You still got one fight left in his UFC deal. But now you, you've sort of entered this boxing world. It seems like Nate wants to enter this boxing world. Jake's making his move. Do you see a world where you and Nate can compete on the same card and maybe do something similar to what Jake's trying to do right now? Maybe you guys kind of just be a part of the same thing together definitely we uh we fought but we fought on the same card uh in ufc 202 when he fought connor the second time so yeah i'm 
whatever. Uh, this is a whole different ball game. Yeah, the, it's the, 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 ball it's game. such the, the, the money that's involved here. You know, it could be could be massive. Like, why why have Nate fight on a Jake card when Jake can fight on a you and Nate card? Exactly. Yeah, Jake can fight on our card. So, yeah. But you know, we'll see what's up. Uh, yeah, for sure, we can get a, our whole team on the card versus his whole team. We could do something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm sure Nate will be doing some big things like he's always has been. And uh, UFC, boxing, whatever he decides to do, um, we'll be fighting to the end of time. So we're coming. And yeah, fuck Jake Paul. <laughs> uh, one more quick thing. Nick Maximoff in the UFC. What is that like to see? That's, a, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that, uh, that's my homie. And he's going to wreck shop in UFC. That, that guy is uh, really talented. And I'm excited to see what he's going to do in the UFC. And I got his back, too. That's my boy. So, yeah, he's going to take over for sure. Chris, I appreciate the time, especially so close to the fight. All the best to you the rest of this weekend on Saturday night, my man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.